Welcome or welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example, we're gonna find the, these two derivative and I'm gonna use the chain rule, how it's called, which is down here. So let's start with the first one, which is, I'm gonna call it y prime or dy over dx if you want. So we need to find the derivative with respect of x of the quantity 3x minus 2 to the 6 power. And like I said, I'm gonna use the chain rule. And the first thing you wanna take a look is you need the outside function. Outside function will be this expression to the 6 power. So that tells us we're gonna use the power rule. So that means the 6 goes up front. And then I'm gonna drop 1 from that 6. So I have the quantity 3x minus 2 to the fifth power. So that is the first part uh, f prime of g of x times. Now I will suggest you to do this step, the derivative with respect of x of the inside function, which in our case is 3x minus 2. And we're going to do one more step here with derivatives. So let me copy the first part and the last part here, the derivative with respect of x of 3x minus 2 is nothing else than 3. And the last step here will be to simplify and this is the final answer 6 times 3, 18 times 3x minus 2 to the fifth power. This is the derivative of y, y prime or dy over dx. Okay, you may want to stop the clip and try b. Well, let's see how I do b here. So f prime in this case or the derivative of x of f of x with respect of x will be here the derivative with respect of x of 2 times the quantity 5x plus 2, 1 to the third power. So in this case, what you can do right away is you can take these two and move it up front using the constant multiple rule. So we have 2 times the derivative with respect of x of 5x plus 1 to the third power. And from here, it's very similar to the first part. I'm going to use first the uh, power rule and for this uh, outside function and I'm going to have a 3, right? The exponent goes up front times that expression 5x plus 1 times the power of, again you subtract 1 from the exponent so it's going to give you power of 2 here. And then the last part we have the derivative with respect of x of the inside function which is 5x plus 1. So let's do one more step with the last part, the derivative. And in fact we can simplify right ahead. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times the quantity 5x plus 1 to the second power times and the derivative of 5x plus 1 is just 5. Last step, one more simplification. We have 6 times 5, which is 30. 30 times the quantity 5x plus 1 squared. This is what we call f prime of x, or the derivative of f with respect of x. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.